Judges, thank you very much. Good morning, dear colleagues. Today I'll try to tell you about digital path morphology in a digital um, section together with uh, doctors from Oncological Institute of Petrov. We visited the 13th uh, Digital Path Morphology Congress in Berlin. So for 13 years, the colleagues have been discussing these types of um, um, pathology and this uh, they have been telling us that uh, this is a digital pathology but uh, we cannot say that it has been implemented in uh, practice uh, for example like we are using uh, different types of uh, histological microscopes in diagnostics but there are some successful uh, examples of how these technologies uh, work and how they increase the efficiency of uh, the detection uh, work so I would like to start with uh, the following, going back to history, it's not a secret for all those who are here today. Subjectivity, what SL has uh, mentioned, uh, uh, the diagnostics, pathomorphological um, diagnostic is a subjective process. So um, a doctor defines whether it is a benign or malignant tumor and it is a uh, subjective and uh, it is done on the basis of uh, classification and uh, uh, it is very important to rightly uh, typicalize the um, different types of uh, um, uh, diseases and uh, a doctor is a human being and uh, they have their own professional and personal life and uh, he considers uh, 100 cases a day sometimes so mistakes do happen it's not a secret uh, for you that uh, we have the professional community and uh, it doesn't make any sense to be embarrassed and not to mention that it's a normal international practice when we cooperate with EU and the US colleagues and everybody understands that that is a subjective method and uh, uh, this uh, practice has been um, brought to the objective uh, point and now the machines and equipment are calculating all the data for the um, efficient quality of uh, uh, the um, analysis but uh, still diagnostics in oncology is uh, subjective and we try to objectivize that uh, by implementing such kind of digital uh, technologies we um, have digital pathology our own software that consists of different types of uh, products for diagnostic tasks and also for uh, archiving and also for different types of scientific projects so I would like to tell you how we are implementing it, which is even more important. As I have already mentioned, the implementation of digital pathology uh, pursues um, different types of goals, so decreasing mistakes, because uh, for each case we can have uh, several specialists. SL has already mentioned that uh, we are aiming at opening a black box of the diagnostic progress, so uh, we are trying to make it more transparent for doctors doctors, for clinicians, and uh, for, for everybody. So we are trying to resolve this task with digital pathology, so uh, also to make the diagnosis um, quite fast. Uh, it can be uh, proliferative uh, and uh, different types of tumors. And uh, uh, when the pathology is specialized there, it takes less time to um, give uh, the verdict, to give the diagnosis, but it is impossible uh, in all the laboratories to have uh, a specific specialists for all different areas because it is impossible. We have few doctors like that in Russia and around the world as well. Uh, together, all the information for different areas is also impossible, but our uh, technology uh, allows us to unite the uh, qualifications of different specialists, for example, in the regional uh, oncological hospital and in other institutions, uh, we can have uh, all the doctors with different competences, not only Russian ones, but also foreign ones. Uh, we are gathering and accumulating statistics, we are creating archives, and we are resolving uh, this uh, task uh, in a very elegant style. 
so it is not a huge uh, capacity, not a very costly uh, procedure to store all uh, the information with the, all the economic consequences. So we are saving money thanks to these technologies, uh, also engaging uh, the external consultants for counseling and for diagnostics. So we call that digital counseling. It's not a counseling. Uh, it is a united type of work when doctor is like uh, ki uh, thousands of kilometers away, but he's participating uh, in uh, the diagnosis process. And uh, here, um, uh, I have already mentioned that there are two uh, key mechanical characteristics that we are using in these diagnostics. So this is a united work of specialists when at minimum two specialists are working on each uh, case. And uh, this is uh, fixed inside the system, the progress of it. And they are finalizing the diagnosis um, together for each specific case and just a few words about technologies. You have touched upon a DICOM issue and I would like to mention a few words about that. The technology of work with the image uh, let's uh, send the file to the server let's make the uh, video track player. It is not very easy the possibility to work to make the cooperation of the doctors in St. Petersburg, Kiel, um, and anywhere else, so that they can work in the same speed, in the same pace. It is quite difficult that the doctor must work with the same speed, but it's better when the uh, glasses and the specimen is under the microscope. Many leading producers of the equipment who have their own soft where uh, they say that uh, the technologies we have uh, allowed to work quicker. Uh, let's uh, look at first video track. We uh, showed this video track at uh, Open Innovations. This file is just uh, 30 uh, gigs and I'll sell you, you, I suppose you know this specimen, this TSH uh, research. And the speed is very high, you see, as if it was uh, at the microscope in your lab. The cloud technologies are believed to be a server which is somewhere, located somewhere. And the question is often asked, uh, is it in Russia or not in Russia? We have all in all approximately 30 servers, some of them send files, others receive files, and these technologies open an opportunity to work at such a speed with images. We have a contract with IBM Global which provides uh, servers to us because they are interested in the technologies we develop. As I said, we work with big files at high resolution of uh, the specimen, dozens of gigs and it is impossible to send it via Dropbox or via email. Therefore, we work with DICOM. We started one year ago when a pathologist who worked with the bone tumors uh, claimed that they needed to see their primary image, and we opened the DICOM uh, viewer without uh, necessity to download it, and we allowed to work with the images, with uh, computer tomography, with positron emission images, tomography images. This information adds to a uh, pathological uh, data. This is a cloud-based diagnostics uh, concept. We are proud of uh, being a comfortable software to create an interface without a multi-page manual is an unusual aim and those people who work on software know it very well. We are glad that pathologists who can compare different softwares 
uh, stress that our software is quick and is convenient in use and it does not require deep knowledge or deep uh, uh, skills in uh, promo uh, skills in use this software is used here and when I mentioned Berlin conference let me pride a bit there are many in, um, solutions in hardware and software but I cannot say that uh, there is a, a cutting edge technology demonstrated there however we can uh, work so that thousands of patients get services with the use of this um, uh, software so 800 experts use this system but nowadays this number is even higher and you see uh, 19 terabytes uh, in data and we need to learn to analyze this in automatic mode it is not rocket science. Uh, there is a huge number of um, such mechanisms. They are based on open source, but the input uh, upload is the uh, up the input data. Uh, this is the problem. We need to get the information, which uh, will become metrics for the uh, automatic mode development. We hope to collect them as quick as possible. As for training, there is the Pathology Puzzles project. Uh, this is uh, Pathology Puzzles uh, for CIS, for the experts from the uh, CIS uh, with 800 uh, doctors of, uh, uh, from Russia and 150 from other CIS countries. Pathology Puzzles International was launched uh, one month ago from, and the doctors from Canada, from Asia, from uh, the European Union joined together and the uh, uh, pattern is the same. Is it a social network for the pathologists? No. We uh, believe that there is another idea. The most effective training in pathomorphology is to look at specimen to discuss them. Uh, so that someone who has already had this practice could uh, provide their feedback, their ideas about this, these or that case. And this is a draft for Pathology Online University. And we are with the colleagues from the uh, postgraduate uh, education discuss the opportunity of evaluation of skills and knowledges, maybe giving the points this will be implemented within the new system of certification. Uh, over 1,100 pathologists participate in this project. And to conclude, I would like to show what we have presented in Berlin. This is a new product, which is still under development. This is a system of support of uh, decision making. Three weeks ago, we presented that in Berlin. Still, we are working on it and testing it in the European Union and in Russia. We started to we launch it in English, but now we are localizing it and we translate it into a Russian. You know that there is IBM Watson, which can uh, uh, assist the uh, decision making in medicine. Here, we speak about uh, morphological diagnostics. It is like histological atlas. The screenshot shows the bone tumors. Michael Jacqueline and Dmitry Rogozin worked on the content. You probably know these guys. You see that the software includes the description of all kinds of, uh, all types of uh, the bone tumors. There is a context uh, search and alphabetic uh, search, but there is two uh, important things. Uh, unlike histological atlas, there is the digitalized, uh, the digitalized specimens, as if the, uh, there was a specimen at the b book, as in an annex to the book. And there are also diagnostic tools 
when a pathologist gets the information on uh, sex, uh, age, specimen, and the pathologist can put in uh, the um, these data into the diagnostic tools and get the um, uh, feedback from the software on the um, uh, possible diseases at this patient. And uh, I would like to show you the uh, video track. I hope that it will be with the sound. Please switch it on. There is no sound, but let me comment on this. So you have seen that for each var variation of pathology, there is a descriptional part, there is ICD O code, histological and immunohistochemical panel. There is DICOM format. This can be compared to the short brief of histological atlas. This is the uh, sample of the context uh, search. Maybe you look for a tumor with the description uh, with the word CD34 negative. You can do it. You can work with uh, the alphabet. And here is a diagnostic tool. There is a man, a man, 40 years. We can see the place of the tumor. We can see uh, the morphology peculiarities, morphology features. Oh yes, this is video track, unfortunately without sound. And we see the uh, diagnostic uh, row, and we can see the each variation and compare it with what we see from the clinical data or from the morphology. And we remember that this is not the tumor we think in the first, as from the first side, but uh, another tumor. As for the open source, just very briefly, we uh, thought on uh, standard standardization. Our software works with uh, all types of scanners, uh, uh, including those which are not represented in Russia, say the uh, specialists from Norway and Denmark, um, Czech Republic, and other countries in Italy uh, work with our software. And in Italy, a group of experts uh, said that we need to use a DICOM format and we need to uh, require the scanner producers to follow the DICOM standard or DICOM format. Uh, the DICOM, DICOM format is not a solid thing. Uh, there are formats designed 20 years ago and designed five years ago. These are two different formats. The second point to saving DICOM or to keep the DICOM, we need to require the uh, producers and it is very difficult. So there is Olympus, uh, who has their own format. There is Imperia, there is Hamamatsu company. They all have uh, different formats, and we cannot make them work in one format. Another way is to make a convert, uh, converting tool into DICOM, certain DICOM format. But it is a long process, and it is... Uh, power consuming, computer power consuming a way this is the idea maybe it is better to use the uh, software tools which allow to work quickly with the existing file formats uh, from the scanners. This is my opinion. So thank you for the attention. Dear friends, we are out of timing and as a chair I would like to skip the Q&A session and